Hi guys, this is Baskar Ray. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, as part of this video, we are going to cover how to print the Hello Diamond pattern using the alphabets. And uh, there was a question um, asked by one of the subscribers, so I am just adding that video for her. Okay, so uh, let me explain with the execution flow. Okay, here what um, here the first line is I am taking the input from the user based on the size of the input which user provides. I am printing the uh, hello um, diamond pattern with the alphabets. So in the previous video I have done the same logics but with the using the star symbol. But the only change here is instead of star symbol we are using the alphabets. So this is what we wanted to print here so the logics uh, if you have watched already watch the previous video you can just check the um, i've just replaced the um, characters here to print um, so let's start with uh, by checking uh, by running this program okay let me give the size as three okay let me increase the size to okay this is what I expected but let uh, okay let me start with the execution flow here so in the first line uh, I am taking the input from the user so this is the input functions to read the data from the user and I am converting the inputted uh, value integer to the integer and that value I am persisting it into the variable called n okay and um, there are a couple of loops I have used. Uh, I wouldn't say this is an optimal solution, but this is one of the solutions. Uh, we can even uh, uh, do performance uh, for this program. But since it's a quite a, a simple program, let me explain with this. I am using a for loop range functions and care functions mainly. And this care function is for uh, converting the um, uh, Uh, this care function is used to convert the numbers into the alphabets like let suppose we're checking care of uh, 64 i get some at integer so care of 65 gives me a care of 66 this goes in a sequence by the way a b c till z okay so that's the function this care function here and range functions i have already explained it so it gives you the um, generates the numbers from start till the max minus one so suppose if it is 3, it gives 2, 2. Okay. So let's see this. Uh, for example, I am taking the n as 3. And for that range, um, n is equal to 3 plus 1. So here, uh, this is starting from 1 to uh, 4. So the max won't be included. So it will be 1, 2, 3. So this outer loop will be used for the printing the first three rows. Okay. So that's the reason I've just highlighted this color here, red color. And uh, the J for loop will be printed uh, three times from I is equal to one, two, three. So the first for first inner loop, uh, again, we have included one more for loop to get the uh, spaces here. Okay. So these spaces will be printed by this for loop. So what I'm doing here is for J, in range of 1, n minus i plus 1. So n is equal to 3, i is equal to 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So when i is equal to 1, j will be 1 comma 2. So it, this loop runs twice. So that's the reason I given here. So this this fills up this space here. In the second for loop, uh, in the second inner for loop, for j in range of 1 comma 2 into i, here since i is equal to 1 for the first time, so into 1 into 1 comma 2, for the range of 1 comma 2, it will be one so here and again there is one more additional if conditions if j is equal to one or uh, if if it is matches this condition then it prints the character so as i told you st uh, string uh, um, care of 65 is the one since i is equal to one it prints the character a Suppose if that is not, if this condition, inner if condition is not matching, it prints the empty space here. 
So for the first loop, it printed uh, as a care of 65 is here because as we seen already here. So, so that's how it comes. So for the second loop, again, um, this one repeats the uh, second time. But before that, uh, you should notice that I have used the last print statement to print it in the new line. Okay, so this line for this line, uh, I have used this print statement. By default, it will be a new line uh, end. So to avoid that, I have given the end as empty, so that it appends these values after the spaces a. Okay. So going to the next loop, uh, sorry, for the uh, for the n is for the i is equal to two. When i is equal to 2, the j will be 1 because um, here n is 3, minus 2, it will be 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So the range of 1, comma 2, the values would be 1. Okay, So that's a value here. So only one space would be left here due to that. And the others will be filled by the, the next for loop. So the next for loop is 1, comma 2 into i. This i is equal to 2. So 1 comma 4. So the value should be j for 1, 2, 3. But the value, um, if you see that if condition, if condition satisfies if it is 1 or 3, the j value here. 2, i is equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4, minus 1, 3. So 1 or 3, if it, if it is 1 or 3, the characters will be printed. So the, here is 1, here is 3. Otherwise, the empty space will be filled up. Okay, and for the for the last loop, uh, sorry, for the i is equal to three, j will be like the range of one comma one, which is nothing. It will be empty, which will not be printed. So that's the reason there is no space here. And uh, the second for loop, uh, when range when i is equal to three, it will be like one comma six. So the value should be from 1 to 3, 4, 5. Range of 1 to 6 will be 1 to 3, 4, 5. For 1 and 5, this condition, if condition will matches. And that's the reason it prints um, 1 and 5, it prints the characters. And other in between, it loses the empty space due to this else condition. Okay. So the, uh, this is for the upper uh, uh, three rows, uh, starting three rows. The next two rows will be, the logic is entirely same. The only difference is, here instead of looping for ranges from incremental we are decrementing the values so here when n is equal to 3 3 minus 1 2 comma 0 minus 1 so it will be the range of uh, range values will be 2 1 okay so since we are decrementing it will not go max than the, uh, 0 so it will be 2 and 1 so the same logic applies for the below two rows as well So that's about it. Uh, if you have any comments, please share it with me. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel.